get going. Okay, so we're going to start with our calf raises. Come up onto the toes and back down again. Where am I there? That's better on that video. Good. Right up and down. All right, and then knee circles. Keep the feet together, round one way. And then we'll go round the opposite direction. Okay, and then we'll bring the hips slight wide apart with the feet, and we're going to go round in one direction, and then back round the other way. Cool. Okay, S twisting through the hips, come onto the toe. Shoulders right round, nice and relaxed through the shoulders. So Matt, do you have a view as to when we might be able to do kettlebells in person? Yes, yeah, I do. It's gonna, um, yeah, I've got so been just been figuring out some some ideas, but yes, indeed. Um, so 29th of March is the date. Um, I've got in the diary when things will change and we'll be able to do um, big group um, exercise classes again. Um, so I think it's Thursday the 2nd of April. So yeah, I'm going to put, I'm gonna, I'll contact you all separately to air what you, I, I'm intending to run a class. I'd love to run a class in person up here at Gym in the Tin for you all on a Thursday. I'll have a, give you a little bit of um, I'd like to know your your um, your opinions and views. So yeah, I'll send you a message to see what you'd you'd like to do. Whether we stay with just kettlebells, um, whether we do kettlebells and other th strength related things, or whether we do a little bit of everything. I'm not sure yet. So, uh, but yeah, the announcement actually it rolls quite nicely of, off the um, off the end of this. There might be an odd couple of weeks that we could keep going on on zoom for and then we'll be then we'll be good right okay so crossing your left leg on top of your right keep the back leg straight left leg bent you're going to lean down and feel that stretch down the back of the leg deep breath in breathe out and let go deepen into the stretch deep breath in breathe out and let go and breathe in and let go, and then slowly up. Okay, crossing over to the other side. Cross right leg on top of left. Keep the right leg bent, and we're going to stretch down to feel a nice stretch down the back of the left leg. Take a deep breath in, breathe out, and let go. And again in, and let go. One more in, and let go. Good. Okay. Um, inner thigh, right, let's stay standing with these today, so we're going to come out nice and wide with our stance, so nice one for the groin, and then looking through, you'll stretch to the back wall, stretching through. And then slowly up. Well done. And we'll do a figure of four. Um, so you're going to cross one leg over like so. And then squat down slightly, leaning over that leg. So we get a stretch through the butt cheek. Um, Ruth, just wanted to let you know, you haven't got your screen turned on at the moment. So I can't see you if you, if you wanted. That's absolutely fine if you don't want to be seen. But um, I can't see you to correct you at all today. So... Uh, just, just wanted to let you know. And then swap to the other side, stretching out for the hip. Uh, Matt, I'm having really big problems with my new super duper broadband. Oh, <laughs> not so super duper. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm not happy. I'm here. I'm not happy about this. It's all week I've had this. So sorry. And that's all right. So long as you can see me, that's the most important thing. Right. Okay guys, so we've got a, a nice little pyramid of exercises. This is a warm-up 
and some today. So we're going to start with 10 swings, 10 squats, 10 pullovers, feet up. Then we're going to go for 15 of each, 20 of each, back to 15 of each, then finish with 10 of each, okay? So five sets in total. We're going to start with the swings, uh, 10 reps, nice snappy swing hip. Remember, snap from the hips. Ready guys, three, two, one, off we go. Snap through from the hips, two. Five, right through, six, seven, snap, eight, nine, ten, good. And then we're going to hold it up, top of the chin, for our goblet squats, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, nice. And then our pullovers. So pullovers, you're holding the kettlebell, cut the end, feet off the floor for this one, straight arms, we're coming over to touch the floor, strong arms, strong straight arms and pull up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. So good one for the core and the upper body. Okay, up we get. Fifteen of each. Ready? Three, two, one. Off we go. One, two, three, four. Nine, ten, five more, five, four, three, snap, two, one, good, goblet squats, 15 goblet squats next, hold it up by your chin, off you go. That's it, chin up, nice and low, good. So 15. Nice, okay, and pullovers, feet up pullovers, onto the floor, arms straight, 15 reps. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. Okay, twenty of each. Up onto our feet. Three, two, one, let's go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 2, 1, into goblet squats, chin up, off we go, 17, 18, 19, 20, 13, 12, 11, keep going, 10, 9, 8, Seven, keep that chest up, wide knee, six, five, four, three, two, one, nice one, okay, 20 pullovers, down onto the floor, 
Grip that kettlebell, feet off the floor, core tight. Okay, nice straight arms, touch the floor and pull over. One, core tight, two, straight arms, three, tummy tight. Fourteen, sorry. <laughs> Fifteen, five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice one. Good. Okay. Fifteen swings. Three, two, one. Let's go. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve. 11, 10, 9, 8, snap through, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, good, 15 squats, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pullovers. Okay, feet off the floor, let's go. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done, well done. Okay, final set. 10 reps. Are we ready? Snap with those hips, three, two, one, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Into goblet squats, chins up, off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and pullovers to finish. Feet off, core tight. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Well done. Good job. Well done. Cool. Right. Okay. Um, how are we doing for time? Oh, when do we start? Oh, we don't have long actually, do we? Right. Okay, guys. We've got our little circuit next. Strength circuit. Now it starts with a swing punch. <laughs> You're wondering what the hell is a swing punch. Let me show you first. So it comes in and then back out. Now you'll notice that the kettlebell doesn't flop down as we do it. You keep a nice strong grip on it and you've got to be quite fast with the punch and get it right. Snap, punch in. Punch in, okay? Do you want to have a little go? See? That's it, it's an in, out, and then back to the next swing again. So, um, it should be like that, Nigel. It comes in, out, comes in, out, swing. Up, in, out, and down. 
Nice, Claire. That's it. Good. Good. Yeah, that's it. You've got to keep... Good. So it's a swing, Nigel. So make sure it's... Make sure with the swing, it's here. So you're not loping. Don't do a lopey swing. A snap. Snap from there. In, out. In, out. Okay? If, if you keep everything nice and tight on this, it works. If we're, if we're really lopey, it doesn't work as well. You'll find that there's a little little sweet spot that you get in. Okay, then we can try on the other side as well. Punch, punch. Good, get in there. Yes, Nigel, yeah, that's good. Yeah, 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 you got it, good. Right, okay, that's our first exercise. Our second is the windmills. We practiced this a little while ago. You're gonna kick your hip out, arm up straight in the air, slide down, and then come right back up to standing. Down and back up to standing, okay? That's our second exercise. Third exercise is a half kneeling press. So we're gonna kneel down and press from the shoulder and back down. From the shoulder and back down. And the third exercise, or fourth, is a good morning. So we're gonna hold the kettlebell by our, lower back, our upper back, legs straight, we're gonna lower down and then squeeze back and forwards. She should feel that down the back of the legs. Okay, right. Where's my uh, stopwatch? Okay, I think we've all got those. Are we ready? So I'm gonna go for 30 seconds each one. We'll roll through a few times so you get to do one side and then the other on the punch. Um, okay, are we ready guys? Uh, three, two, one, off we go. Snap, punch. Swing punch, swing punch, swing punch. So it comes into the front of the chest and then back out again. Punch in and back out. In, back out, good. In, back out, in, back out. Good work. Get into that rhythm. Five seconds left. And rest, cool. Okay, into windmills, right hand windmills. Three, two, one, off you go. Kick the hip out, arm straight, look at the kettlebell. Down, slide down, down, stand back up. Slide down and back up. Remember, it's not a sideways movement, it's a forward bend as well as a sideways, okay? Keep an eye on that kettlebell, keep the arms straight. And rest. Okay, continuing with the right arm. So you've got your right knee down on the floor, right hand into rack, and we've got the press. Three, two, one, off you go. Press, be strong in the body. Hand off your thigh, keep it down by your side. That's it, or out for balance. Good, stay still in the body. Try and stay as still as you can in the body. Well done. Ten more seconds. And rest. Good, okay, it's a good morning. So you're gonna bring the kettlebell by your, by your lower upper back. Off we go. Bend and squeeze forwards. Just over and squeeze. Over. So we're going to go back round to swing with punch. This time we're working on the left arm. Okay. Uh, are you ready, guys? Three, two, one. Off we go. Swing punch on the left. 30 seconds. Just keep the swing nice and neat. 
up by the top of your um, legs. Don't let the swing lock down by your knees. Keep it nice and tight. Be efficient. Well done. Nearly there. And rest. Good. We've got windmills on the left. Kick the left hip out. Off we go. Stick hip out. Down. And back up. Hip out. Slide down. And up. Hip out. Down. And up. Keep going. Well done. Right down as far as you can and rest. Good. Okay, left knee down on the floor, on the left arm. Three, two, one, go. That's it. Strong through the body, stay still through the body. Right up in line with your. Head. And rest. Good job, good job. Okay, then we've got our good mornings. So we'll bring the kettlebell onto the back. Okay, feet quite close together. You should feel this a lot down the back of the legs. So nice, try and keep your legs straight, you come down, squeeze butt back up, legs straight down, squeeze butt back up, legs straight down, squeeze back up, that's it, good job, well done, nice straight back, try not to bend in your back, push your bum backwards, Stick your bum as far out backwards as you can. And rest. Good. Cool. Okay, we go back to right hand. We do one more on each side. Okay, swing punch first. Right. Are you ready guys? Three, two, one. Let's go. Right hand swing punch. Snap through. That's it. Keep the kettlebell close to the top of your legs. Back in. Good. Punch. And in. Well done. I think you all got it. Good. Punch. Punch. Get the tricep working a little bit. Here too. Which is good. And rest. Nice. Okay, windmills. Right hand, push hips to the right. Off we go. Slide the arm, leg, the hand down the leg, and come back up. Down, and back up. That's it. Looking at the kettlebell at all times. That's it. Knowing where it is. Try and keep the elbow locked, elbow straight, on a straight elbow, and rest. Nice. Okay, then down onto one knee for our kneeling press. Press. Back down, off we go. Press. And down. Press. Good, sorry, I even had my hand on my... <laughs> I didn't even notice. Last couple of seconds. And rest. Cool. Okay, then onto the back. Going to go for our good mornings. Okay, off we go. Stretch the back of the legs and squeeze forwards. Stretch back of the legs, back's flat, and squeeze up. Back and squeeze. Back and squeeze. Back. Well 
Nice. Couple more seconds. And leave it there. Well done. Good. Okay, one more set to go. I lost track of time, actually. I thought we'd um, started at 7, but we started at 7.15, didn't we? So we've got time to... Um, what I'll do after this last set is recap on kettlebell snatches. Um, we'll do a little practice and then have a stretch at the end today as well. So plenty of time. Okay, swing punch. Left hand, everything in the left. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Off we go. Punch. Snap punch. Swing punch. Good. Keep it snappy with the hips. Remember, don't neglect the swing with the hips. Hips back, hips forwards. Hips back, hips forwards. Back, forwards. Forwards. Last five seconds. And into our windmills. And into windmills. Feet point to the right, hip out to the left, slide the hand down, and come back up. Slide the hand down, and back up. And down, and back up. And down, back up. And down, back up. Keep going, guys. And rest. Okay, down to half kneeling press. Core tight, straight in. Press. Down to the shoulder. Press. Press. On the outside of your arm, Helen. <laughs> it's a long day. There we go. Nearly, good. nearly there now. <laughs> Good, and rest, well done. Okay, and then into good mornings. Okay, on the back of the, uh, back of the shoulders there, feet close together, and stretch back the legs, squeeze bum. Stretch back, squeeze bum. Stretch back, good, squeeze bum. So while you're having all having a quick drink, you can um, keep an eye. So the swing punch is quite similar in ways to what you do on a snatch. So with the kettlebell snatch, you don't bring your arm in all the way, but it is that little, that little subtle movement there that sends the kettlebell round to the outside of your arm. Then you flip it down and the kettlebell returns back to here. It comes down, subtle punch, it falls to the outside, and you're up into the snatch. So it's quite hard, you can't really do it slow motion, which is um, what you kind of almost need. And what I'd do is maybe pause this um, recording. So let's just do, let's do a couple for you. So snap and back down, snap through. You might see my elbow bend slightly, yeah? That's the punch that you're looking for. It's a much faster, much smaller, much more subtle punch to get the kettlebell onto the outside of your wrist, okay? So that... Can you come a bit nearer the camera because your arm goes above the top of my screen? Um, if I come near, yeah, if I come nearer, Helen, I'm... Further away then? Yeah, yeah. Um... You don't really need to see the ground, here we go. That might be better. Okay. Right, so um, from here, punch and flick. So it's a much smaller punch, and you bring the kettlebell to the outside and flick it down. It's got to be dynamic from the hips, okay? So it all starts with a really good snap from the hips. So have a little go at that. Um, Strong through the wrist, Claire. Strong through the 
Good. Also, if you're bending your wrist all the time, the kettlebell's down here, it's going to travel round in a much bigger trajectory. If you keep your wrist straight all the time, it's neat. It just travels round your wrist. Good, Helen. Helen, just bring it right up. Bring the arm right up in line with your ear. Right back there. That's it. It finishes there. Good. Think of a little punch. Try and get a little bit of a punch in so it... Better. You'll find that one or two, you'll find will go, oh, hang on, it didn't, hit my, didn't hurt my wrist. It just clicks. It's like when you swing, um, when, you, when you hit the golf ball just right. It makes a nice sound. It feels right. Or when you hit, um, hit the tennis ball um, for a good shot, it just feels it's on the sweet spot. Oh, oh Claire, oh God, <laughs> nearly battered yourself then, jeez. Nice, Nigel. Yeah, pretty good, Nigel, that looks good. You've got that snappy movement there, for sure. I reckon one or two of those probably felt good as well. Yeah, nice. Snap with the hips. Helen, just make sure that your swing is quite close to the up here rather than down here. Just make sure that your, um, it's a snap right from... That's, that's, that's bad, yeah. It's a tricky one, this. Well done, snap, bum squeeze, snap. Not bad, that last one was pretty good. Yeah, they're getting there, they're getting there, good. Well done, they just take a lot of practice, a lot of practice to work snatches. Right, okay, cool, let's finish with some stretches. So uh, we'll be on the floor for these ones this evening. Why not? We've done the hard work. Okay. Right, so yeah, sitting on the floor. Um, we will go for... First up, I want you to sit with your feet together, that's it. And you're going to grab hold of your toes and then wiggle your bottom backwards until you get a nice stretch down the back of the legs. So you might not get your legs straight, that's absolutely fine. But we're looking for that nice stretch down the back. Well done. Good guys. Okay, then you're going to place one sole of your foot for butt by your knee and we're then going to stretch down towards the leg so you've got this knee out to the side and then stretch towards the straight foot good and then onto the other side. Good guys. Okay, and then put both palms uh, soles together. I'm just going to sit and just push your knees out. Try and sit upright in your lower back. That's it. So pushing your belly forwards, shoulders back, and then letting your knees drop out to get that stretch on the inner thighs. Well done, cool. And the last one we'll do for the glutes. So left leg out nice and straight, cross your right leg over, place your right hand behind your back 
and we'll pull yourself round. Pull that, hug the knee into the chest. Nice, and then onto the other side. Leg across, sit up tall, hand behind your back, twist round. Thanks everyone, have a really great evening, have a great week and um, I'll see you, yeah, see you next week. Cool. Thanks Matt. Thank you, see you Saturday Claire. Yeah, see you Saturday. Cool. Bye guys. Bye Helen, thank you. Bye. See you Nigel.